everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today I am here with the scavenger hunt tag that's been going around on color tube and also as I was um, made aware by Danny buttons who originated this tag that she was inspired by booktube um, so no one officially tagged me <laughs> But I'm going to go ahead and do this video now. I wanted to do it like two weeks ago, but I've been away in Atlanta. So I'm back home now, and I decided that I will participate in the tag. There are 10 questions with, well, not 10 questions, but 10 prompts with a bonus one. And I've gone through my books. I've tried to find a variety, and this can consist of colored pages or pages yet to be colored. Um for some of the things to find and I really hope you enjoyed this video this was fun for me to look through my books and find things and she said she's going to create another one in the fall I can't wait to see what that one is but I will leave the link to her channel in the description box below if you want to check her out and you're unaware of her she loves Disney so if that's something you're into she's definitely the person to go see about that um, type of situation going on and uh, yeah we'll just start with the first one so the first thing to find was a picture of a man. Now I have lots of pictures of men so I'm going to include the ones that I've colored so far I think. So kicking things off is this PDF by Fabiana Atanasio which is a part of her Ariel or the Mermaid 5 pack or something like that that you can find on Etsy and I printed it on tone tan paper. I used Polly's and Neo Color too. And I did this either in late 2018, but I really think it was sometime in 2019, but I just do not know when because I am horrible at writing down dates and stuff. I feel like it really doesn't matter. So I don't really date things, but you can tell I did not care for it because I did not even cut the picture <laughs> off like where it cuts off like and put it in a sheet protector or anything, but it hangs around because I really like how I did the sky. That's the only thing that I really like on this page because it just did not come out the way that I wanted it to. I like the rocks too in the um, <laughs> sand, but other than that, yeah. So I used Neo Color 2 for the sky, the water, her tail, um, if I recall correctly. And I used Polly's to color everything. I think I used Polly's for her skin, but I'm not really sure. But I don't know why I couldn't get things to work on here that specific day. I did use some alcohol marker to base Eric. But yeah, it just was not my bag, this picture, this day. Um, so, here she is. She sticks around again. Like I said, um, I don't really show it or use it <laughs> in any way. But I always can print another one because I have the PDF. But yes, this is one man that I've colored. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you my guy that I picked in the look by Suwa. Now I'm not going to have a hundred <laughs> pictures for each question but the ones that I thought that I could have um, that I have a good amount of I'll show like it's lots of men in here um, in this book like older men, younger men. It's really cool. It's a variety. So what I am trying to show you is my picture here where I color my guy right here at the ice cream stand and I've shown this in a completed pages video before, but if it's your first time seeing it, there is glitter gel pin on her blouse, which I really love. And yeah, this was the end result of this picture with my ice cream guy. I was going to call him a barista, but that's not correct. But <laughs> my ice cream guy over here. So yeah, that was uh, him in the look by Sua. And the last man I managed to find was in Snow White by Fabiana Atanasio. And it is the Prince... And I didn't mark anything because I'm lazy. Oh, I totally could use this. I totally forgot I colored him. So I could do the stepdad or the, I forget who this guy was. I don't know. Anyway, I could use him because he's done. And then I'm looking for, oh, my prints. So I did my prints. This was a long time ago, y'all, when I did this picture. But yeah, um, here's my prints. <laughs> And it's in Snow White by Fabian Atanasio. And I remember using Sharpie for his hair because I was trying to do hair strands. But back then I was not good at it or I was just trying to learn and start off. And it wasn't looking to where I would want it to look. And so, yeah, I just went ahead and used a black Sharpie to cover everything. But I really did enjoy this picture. And I love my gold that I used on him and her, um, I don't want to call it a coffin. But it is kind of a coffin. <laughs> her 
chamber that she's going to sleep in until he kisses her. I like the gold on it and her dress. <laughs> we'll call it that. So yeah, this is like really old. This is from like 2017, maybe? 18? Don't know. One of those. But yeah, that is my guy that I'm going to show you. My last guy. And we'll move on to the second prompt. So the next prompt is a picture of fruit now those who know me know I love to color food if you've been with my channel or you know anything about me um food is my jam I just love it because it's just so fun for me I do not know why so I have plenty of pictures of fruit that I've colored or have yet to be colored but I'm going to start with this one which is in sweets and dishes by Eri Nishiwaki if you've never seen this I ordered this on Amazon Japan and it was like $12 US so the picture of fruit, I hate this, it's a whip, I will never ever color that thing, ever, because it just is horrid. But this is the one that I would like to show you all, and I was bring it up close. So I did this, I want to say summer of 2018, I'm not really sure, I don't know, because I don't, I don't write dates down, but there is some... Um, Glitter gel pen, neon gel pen, just because it's summer and it's fun. And I really enjoy doing this picture. Um, and this is really small, so it doesn't take forever to do, but because, you know, I layer and stuff, it takes me kind of a long time. But, yeah, I really need to get back to this book. I do have whips in here, and I really need to get that together. So, those are the fruits that I'll show in this book. If you own any books by Kanoko Agusa, you will know it's full of food. And I really need to get Rhapsody in the forest and get my life together and stop playing around. But for now, I have Minuet de Bonheur. And this is my favorite one. And I ordered this on Amazon US as well. And at the time, it was like $26, which was my most expensive book at the time that I've ever ordered. So yeah, we are going to go ahead and get into my fruit picture. Is a fruit on this page? It is fruit on this page. They're like some berries. That's the only fruit, right? Yep, my blueberries. And um, yeah, I can show this one. And this is a recent completed picture. And there are stickles and whatnot on there. And the picture that I really chose to shine. I really need to start this, y'all. The picture that I really chose to show in here is this one. I do want to uh, color this one, so that would count. But this is the double page spread that I finished a couple months ago and this one has all manner of fruits. It has um, the blueberries, the raspberries, blackberries, it has the figs, it has the nectarines or peaches, it has the oranges, lemons, it has the tomato. I think a tomato is a fruit. I'm not really sure. I don't know. I'm allergic. <laughs> um, I don't know what these are. I thought these were like tomatillos or something. I don't know if that's a fruit or vegetable or I don't know what this is really is meant to be but yeah. There's all manner of fruit, oh, more figs, so I'm really proud of this picture. This took me so many months because I really took my time and <sighs> delayed and delayed because I didn't know what to do with a lot of the colors as far as the background and stuff is concerned, but here it is in its finality, and it's one of my favorite pages. So yeah, this had lots of fruit, and we will move on to number three. So number three is a picture of a bee. Now pictures of bees are far and few between in my collection simply because I don't like bugs. I don't care if it's a bee, a butterfly, a ladybug. Don't like them. However, <laughs> there are some in my books and I'll color them but it's not my bag. However, I did manage to find a picture of a bee. It should be marked with a yellow tab. I actually marked this one y'all like I was prepared. So here is a bee, and here's a bee, ants, another bee. So I happened upon this picture because I was looking in it for a different prompt on this scavenger hunt, and then something was like, look in and see if there are bees, because she has like moths and ladybugs and stuff, and I know that she draws bees. So I managed to find some. I haven't colored it yet. Um, my Tenderful Enchantments and my Fairy Miracles books are very much neglected, and I, need, I really need to um, rectify that, but I hate this paper. And it really has to have every ounce of my patience to color on it. So, yeah. But this is a nice picture. And I believe Coloring F has done this page. And I really like her version. So, yeah. This is my picture of a bee. And that's pretty much all I have to say about a bee. <laughs> we will move on to number four. So, number four is a picture with words. Every single picture in this book has words on it. And I very much intend to start a page in it 
fairly soon i want to start one tonight but i've been running around today and i'm kind of tired so i don't know if i'll be able to start one but i'm sad because i really want to but i don't force myself but yeah every um picture in this book has words on it and so this will be quite fun for me to color in when i get around to it and if you would like a flip through of this book if you've never seen it before i have one available on my channel and you can check that out and it's one of my recent videos so it should be at the top if I forget to put the info card up here or put a link to it so yeah this counts as pictures with words okay the fifth prompt is a picture of a mythical creature now of course my mermaid could have counted and of course I have a whole book called mythical creatures by Hannah Lynn but I wanted to do fairies because I think fairies are a mythical creature and these are from Mystic Art Mares, the PDF, the Fairytopia book that she came out with before she has this uh, creatures or animal book. So it's one of the newest ones. And I used a lot of stickles on her. And she's one of my favorites. I really love her skin tone. I love how I drew in the grass and the little flowers and everything. I had so much fun with this. And I finished this in one night. And I did this back in April. And then this one is available as a color along on my channel if you've yet to check that out. Um, it's available in three parts I believe but the very first part is her skin if you just want to check the skin out so again that's available <laughs> on my channel so yeah I had a lot of fun coloring her and sadly when I put her away she touched something wet and it kind of took away from her wings but that's okay because I still love her just the same as when I first first finished her so she has some stickles and glitter gel pen and whatnot on her and yeah she's these two ladies are going to count for my mythical creatures okay so number six is a picture of santa now i do not own a lot of pictures of santa oddly <laughs> um and i have some quite a couple of christmas books but i don't i don't really care to color santa like <laughs> so that's probably why i don't but in the magical christmas <laughs> by lizzie mary cullen i have my picture of my naked santa that i've had in suspense for like two years or so and i wrote the colors down so i can remember but here is my Santa and I, like I said I did this like two years ago or so and I really need to come back and work more on it because I got to tighten this up with the water and everything but yeah um, hopefully I'll finish it maybe I should do it for Christmas in July it is July 1st today I don't know but that's my Santa and I don't have one that I can readily think of in another book so I just immediately thought of him when I um, read a picture of Santa so yeah that is my Santa okay number seven is a picture of art supplies and I actually went through my book it's a lot in tenderful enchantments where people are painting or drawing so if you want to color some art supplies this is the book so here is one that I found and like I told y'all I was prepared I went through and oh let me take that thing with the B off cuz I don't need it anymore Alrighty, Ruse. So here is the one where he's using paints and he's painting. What is this? A bowl of fruits or something? Um, marinating things. <laughs> he's painting them. That was a terribly worded sentence, but I couldn't think of what. This probably could count because she has yarn and everything and she's sewing and that's crafty. Like, you know, that's an art. So that could count, but I didn't have that mark. My hand just went to it oddly. And so here's the one that I immediately thought of when I read the list was this picture because it's one that I had wanted to do like a long time ago and then I didn't do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like this one because it has the paint and it's kind of minimal. It's not very busy. It doesn't have a lot going on. It has the pencils. I think it's really cute. And this one counts as art supplies. Okay, to shake things up, I actually managed to find art supplies in my Eerie book. It's actually one in, I think it's Romantic Country 2 or 3. It could be even one. And there's a couple of scenes with art supplies in those. But I chose to um, find my picture in World Heritage Travel Through Time, Travel Over Time. It's something like that. And it's by Eerie. This is her newest book. And... I chose this picture and it's so funny that I thought of this because I thought of so many that um, I could find. However, this is the one I landed on and obviously he's an artist. He has the paint going on. Um, he has the paint brushes, paint tubes. He has quite a few pictures that he's working on for reference. 
and I think this is a really cute picture so yeah this one is my third one for the art supplies prompt and we will move on to number eight number eight is a picture of a bear now clearly this is a million bears I don't think I've colored a bear so this book is full of bears and I have plenty of opportunity to color a bear I love this page this probably will be one of the first ones I do if not it's another one that I really like but it's I mean it's not a million bears I highly doubt it's a million however there are quite a few and this will be the book that I reach for when I would like to color a million bears it's a picture in here that I saw it's a new channel I think it's like art oh my gosh I cannot think of her name but I think she did no she did a teacup and it was done in like limited color palette and it was so pretty this one I can't think of her channel name but she draws as well she draws like Pokemon and stuff and I follow her on Instagram I cannot think of her channel name but um, if I remember I will link it in the description box below but yeah this is for the prompt a picture of a bear haven't colored in it but I definitely plan on doing so okay number nine is a picture of a pumpkin and obviously I have cute witches by Jay Summer she is even holding a pumpkin on the cover I do not color pumpkins very often um, when I do it's not that fun honestly and I will definitely let you know how much not fun it is for me when you see this picture I'm about to show you so there are tons of pumpkins in this picture so this is the picture that I did a while back a while while back and here it is and I was so lazy when I colored these pumpkins because I love to do a candy corn pumpkin always love to do that it's my favorite and then this one these were really detailed I had to shade a lot and y'all know on this Amazon create space what everyone call it paper it's very toothy so this took everything out of me to do these one two three four pumpkins so when I got to these pumpkins I did not give any F's so this one I think I based them all in neo color too I even did this one with shading wow so I did a lot of pumpkins with shading before I gave up and he's supposed to be a candy corn one too so anywho these I just based and I got lazy and tired and I was like I'm over pumpkins so I just half assed it and then this one matches a shirt that I have I just made it black with a face on it because I have a shirt that looks like a make made up face with makeup uh, no pumpkin here so yeah this book has plenty of pumpkins look at this it's just pumpkins everywhere um to color so you know I was trying to find another one maybe I love this picture it's so cute but I don't want to color cats um, I don't enjoy fur so I thought it was another picture where there were more pumpkins that's mushrooms hmm, interesting anyway yep that's what I have in cute witches and so my next pumpkin would be in the Jasmine Beckett Griffith coloring book this is her very first coloring book um, and the pumpkin that I am proud of to show y'all which is was a complete suggestion by my mother was to do kind of like an inverted reverse pumpkin well he wouldn't be inverted because pumpkins aren't black in the inside what am I talking about anyway she told me to do a black pumpkin what's the point of my story <laughs> and so I was like sure because I, I have always wanted to do a black pumpkin because I've seen them on Pinterest and they look so cool so what I did was I did the um I did it all in orange and then I kind of went over with the black on the outside to make it look like he's kind of got a glow and whatnot with him so it, he looks really cool and I he's one of my favorite if only if if only my only pumpkin <laughs> that is my favorite it will be him and yeah I had fun coloring her and I put um, stickles all on her dress and by suggestion of my beau young folk that's an old school term for a boyfriend um <laughs> I don't like to say boyfriend so I always say beau but yeah my beau suggested to make her a vampire so that's what I did and yeah this is my pumpkin picture that I'm really proud of and we will move on to the last question which was number 10 and then the bonus question okay so number 10 was a licensed character and I know I could probably do like all the princesses that everyone has taken um, artistic liberty and made their own in their own style I definitely could do a bunch of those type of princesses and stuff um, other than that I don't know what other licensed character <laughs> that I own because I'm not a huge Disney person and I say that with the Disney book on my desk um because this is my only Disney book I'm not a huge Disney person so you know that's the first thing I think about when licensed characters popped in in my head however probably because I own this book 
I chose Minnie Mouse. She's definitely a licensed character by Disney. And this is from Disney Silhouettes. Magiques by Achette's Heroes. And this was ordered on regular Amazon US. Because it is on Amazon France and Amazon UK if I'm not mistaken. But yeah. This was um, my Minnie Mouse that I did in kind of a limited color palette. And there's tons of glitter gel pen. And probably metallic gel pen and everything. And I'll show this in a completed pages video a while back but if you're new to my channel you're just seeing this here you are and yeah I did not color her silhouette I just outlined it in black because I just thought it fitted the page it but the, the, it fitted <laughs> it fit it fitted the page it fit at the time I can't promise that I will do that for all of the silhouettes maybe I'll leave them white maybe I'll do them a color that coordinates to the page I don't know how I'm going to do these I'll do a pattern I don't know I love coloring F's version of the Hercules. Hercules is one of my favorite animated um, Disney movies. And so I love her version of this. And this is on the docket for me to do. But yeah, it's if it, it's a flip from above. And I'm sad because while working on my mini, it's separated from the actual cardboard binding. But I heard that had happened, that that is a thing before I got it. So I kind of expected it. But that is my licensed character. I am too windy long-winded because probably I haven't um, recorded things in a while so I have a lot to say apparently but we will move on to the bonus question okay so the bonus question is your favorite animal my favorite animal well I have a lot I love animals but one of my favorite animals are dogs I love dogs I'm a dog person all day 24 7 and I have a doggy and I want a hundred more doggies but everyone tells me that that's not going to be feasible. However, you never know. <laughs> A Million Dogs by Lulu Mayo. What perfect book this is for my favorite animal. And what's crazy is, even though it's my favorite animal, have I done anything in it? No, but my whip, my pathetic whip, that this is the third time that I've shown on my channel. So, I really feel like that's motivation for me to finish it at this point. I mean, if not, I will just shame myself in the corner and put my hat on. Shame hat. Because <laughs> if I show this daggone thing one more time and have not colored it, I, I don't know what to do, but I know where I'm going to go with it. However, haven't shaded, but this book is all about dogs. It's not a million dogs. I don't know how many dogs it is, um, but I love them. It's so many different varieties. Like she does not keep drawing the same dog over and over again, except the pug, I think, or the French bulldog, but it's so many different dogs in here. And I'm like, how does she really just sit and just draw these dogs? And this also appearances from other animals from her other books and she's going to come out with a million animals and I freaking cannot wait because I love animals. This is so cute. Look at this. <laughs> is it a turtle on the turtle's back? I don't know. It's cute though. But yes, that is one for my favorite animal and I'll show you my other favorite animal and then we will be done y'all. Okay, bringing Erie world travel heritage through time or whatever, <laughs> bringing that back around, I have marked my favorite animal in this book and giraffes are one of my favorite animals i love giraffes i like elephants too my mom loves elephants so this double page spread will definitely be nice to complete and i just see it done in a sunset and i've seen this colored on instagram already and they've done a good job and it kind of intimidates me a bit but i'm going to do it eventually but i said all that to show y'all the giraffes i mean look how sweet he's looking up and she's like, I'm going to teach you how to eat leaves. And he's like, okay, mommy. And he's looking, I don't know. That's what I gather from this picture. I don't know. They're smiling, so they're happy. Deer is another one of my favorite animals. Love, 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 love deer. Do not know why. I could have showed a deer. I think, because I think it's a deer in Minuet de Bonhomme. Oh, it might be in Rhapsody. And I'm not on Rhapsody, but yeah, deer is one of my favorite animals too, but I didn't, I'm not going to show a deer. However, my giraffes. I just think that they're so majestic and beautiful. And they really remind me of dinosaurs. Like, I can imagine, like, Brontosaurus is probably, you know, 50 times taller than a giraffe and bigger. But, I mean, like, they're, like, not DNA. How they're shaped. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm rambling. Anywho, this is my giraffe. And why do I have this marked? Oh, this was for... The art supplies. Oh my gosh. So this counts as a picture of art supplies as well. Did I show this one? No. And this is cool because it kind of looks like a notebook and it has the paint and the paint brushes. Yeah, this was supposed to be for number seven and I totally skipped over it. 
Um, don't know how I did that, but yeah, there we go. Uh, hey, if you like chickens and you want to do this tag, here's some chickens you can use for your favorite item. Anywho, those are all the prompts, all 11. Um, again, the creator, originator of this tag is Danny Buttons. I will definitely leave a link to her channel in the description box below. If you have watched this long-winded video, I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed looking through my books, trying to find the different prompts and it was really fun. And it's really making me realize how many more pictures I want to color it's just not enough time and motivation for me half of the time. But they'll get done. Any hoozles, I hope you all are staying safe out there in the world. That you are just staying positive mentally. And that we're all going to get through this. So, thank you for watching. I truly appreciate it. And if I'm not responding to comments, somehow my comments aren't getting to me on through youtube sometimes so if i take forever to respond or i never say anything it's just because i have to sort through and try to find them but i do like reading you guys comments everyone's comments you're all so sweet and i appreciate each and every one of you watching sticking with my channel even though the content is limited these days but i hope to rectify that soon and i'll see you all in my next video